All right, I'm on hole number eight of the Great Outdoors Tournament. Let's go to Golf Class Notebook. Hole number eight is Greenwich Point. And it is hole eight, par four. This is the, this is a, we have to make this hole. We have to make this hole. I'm doing a rough bump on it, and we absolutely have got to get an eagle on this hole. If you want any shot at a banner, this is the hole that's going to make or break this situation. So I'm going to bring a katana, bring an extra mile, and that should be the only thing I need other than either a wedge or my putter. Let's make sure we have an empty slot. Still looking for big tapas. Big Topper is the only level Tour 3 or below club that I'm still trying to work on that I don't have to where it should be. If you're really focused on a club, go play that tour. Like, I'm really focused on a rock right now. I want to get my rock maxed out. So when I'm playing in the off week between tournaments, I'm only playing Tour 5. And I'm collecting about 30 rock cards a week. And I'm less than 100 short. So, you know, I'm looking at three weeks to a month and I can max out my rock. And so I'm putting out the effort to get that club maxed out. We're going to do a 10% wind adjustment here. Huh? Have you eaten anything today? Huh? Have you eaten anything today? Not yet. You have a choice between making a protein shake or taking one of my pre-made protein shakes. I'll make one. I'll come in. Okay. So we're at four. So that's about two rings. It's 2.1 per ring, and we're somewhere in the four neighborhood with the 10% wind adjustment. Isn't it perfect? I put about one top spin on there, just enough to, to get me, blow me through, but not so much that I end up a billion miles away. We're just trying to float it up there. So if we want to put one, one top spin. It's super important that we give ourselves the shot on this hole. We have to come here with a game plan where we're we're just putting it on the green, either chipping it up or we're doing a putt to get our eagle. That's why I'm not doing the shot from the back where you're trying to hop it over. Because you're putting in to play, because of the wind adjustment that you have to do on this hole, you're, you're putting into play the rough that's in the back and then you're putting that sand more into play. Even where our opponent's at right here, that's, a, that's awesome. That's good. I mean, they got an awesome shot from there to chip it up and get their get their shot I'm going to forfeit because they will end up making that good luck in the tournament all right if I can drop uh, if I can forfeit on hole number nine then I will make sure I'm not in the top ten and I should be fine all right, that was hole number eight of the Great Outdoors Tournament, and that is the key there is just to get on. You want to get on or get where our opponent is because you can make that. That's like a, that's, I mean, you really have to try not to make that shot. <sighs> Me personally, I'm going to bring a rapier there because you can do the top spin and it's going to give you a lot more control. So the thing about a rapier is, is here's your ball guide and here's the cup. The, far, the farther you can pull this ball guide away from the cup, the smaller your rings get and the closer you get to where your your the ball is actually laying the closer you can get to where the ball is laying the less the wind's going to come into play or the wind's not going to come into play at all and the closer you the farther back you pull this ball guide the smaller and smaller those rings get so that's why so many people use a rapier is because you can pull it way close to where you're at you can make your rings really small then you can use that top spin in order to get it to the hole and go right at the flagpole. Like literally right at it. That way if you hit a great to the left or the right, you're still leaving that side of the cup open. If you get nonchalant about it and you put the ball guide on this side of the cup, then now you have to hit a perfect or a great to the right. A great to the left is now not going to go in the hole. So go right at it. Be Set that shot up very carefully and, it's, and you've got almost a guaranteed way to get in. But that hole right there, it's critical that we get an eagle. All right, that was hole number eight of the Great Outdoors Tournament and Monday's practice round. Thanks for watching.